What's up, guys? Welcome back to Ready Player Rick. This is Lone Command Echo. The Echo unit to assume your duties when you leave the series. Surprisingly, well, never played this, but this? I got it on sale and Wait. I knew I had to try it. The second one's coming out long? at some point. My ups have been discussing it for maybe six months. Six. Jack? Sorry, I have to go. Kronos 2 out. Jack? What happened? You were talking to Command? Oh, yeah. Sorry you had to hear that. I... Hang on, are you... Are you stuck in there? My diagnostic program crashed. Well, that's never happened before. The pod's release procedures may have been affected. Worked that one out on your own, did you? I failed to see how sarcasm is going to help. Sorry, can't help it. Part of my wily British charm. Weren't you born in space? You want out of there or not? You're all set. Okay. Listen, about my conversation with Command, how much this looks did so you cool. here? I can't believe I haven't played this till now. I heard enough to know I'm no longer going with you to Ceres. Seems you've earned yourself a promotion. The directors want you to take over my duties as station commander. You'll be in charge. That would make this our last week together. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Look, I... I they just... hit me with this news a few minutes ago. I mean, come on, splitting us up. I, I never even considered it a possibility. I'm not entirely sure what to say. Except... I'm sorry, Jack. There's no need to apologize, Olivia. While the situation is... unfortunate, it's not your fault. Come on, then. This looks so cool. Let's get our last week started. Can't believe I haven't played this up until now. Why don't you go activate the bridge while I pull the overnights? Copy that. Swear monkey. Your swear count has not increased for nearly ten hours. Congratulations. Oh, quit playing with that damn thing. I mean, shit. Never mind. <laughs> Commissioned July the 1st, 2121. Transitioning to daytime cycle. Nice. Look at these toys. Bubblehead. I'm really going to miss this part. I'll get started on the morning checklist in a bit. Just give me a moment to soak in this view. Take your time. That does look really cool. Will you get a plaque to commemorate your own tenure as captain, Liv? What? Why would I get a plaque? The first captain of this station received one, and your performance has exceeded his by every metric. That's not really how it works, Jack, but... I appreciate the sentiment. This model is meant to depict an S8 labor unit, is it not? That's right. Why? Is something wrong with it? It is highly inaccurate. That's sort of the joke, Jack. I failed to find the humor in erroneous proportions. Of course you would. Liv, if you keep consuming this snack food, you risk getting a cavity. I can't help it. They're the only thing edible up here. I could dispose of them if you like. Don't you dare. <laughs> Why do you find these creatures appealing? Bulldogs are a symbol of the British spirit. We don't want to know when the odds are against us. Ah. Sounds familiar. So, Jack. I suppose congratulations are in order. For what? For your promotion. There's really no need for that. Come on now, it's a big deal. 
In a few days, you'll be Captain Jack. So, congratulations, Captain Jack. What I mean is, as an Echo Unit, I hold no official rank. So, technically, I can't be promoted. Right. Well, that's too bad. Captain Jack has quite the ring to it. Also, you are the only person who calls me Jack. To everyone else, I am merely Echo One. Is that your way of saying you're going to miss me? I have no... What was that? Jack, did you feel that? What the hell? Uh-oh. That can't be good. Please tell me you can see that. I saw something. Affirmative. I see it. Any idea what it is? I'm afraid not. There are no records of any such phenomenon in the Atlas Interplanetary Database. It is an anomaly. Whoa. What the? Jack, are you all right? I believe so. You were glitching out. The disturbance briefly disrupted my internal systems, but I'm not reading any permanent damage. Liv, it's possible that anomaly is not entirely stable. You think? Priority alert. The hollow table. Something's wrong. I'll investigate. Hera, initiate broad spectrum scan. Focus on the following coordinates. Oh. Let's go to the other side. Hera, status report. Multiple tier one malfunctions detected. Isolate and identify. Acknowledged. Isolating. Awaiting input. Saturn orbital zone beta. Orbital mining facility. Designation Kronos 2. Central mining station. Malfunctions isolated. That is a lot of red. Perhaps it's not as bad as it looks. Ground fault recorded in the cargo bay. Possible circuit overload. Reading marked temperature increase in the core containment chamber. Lockdown procedures in effect. Power failure reported in primary oxygen garden. Emergency failsafes triggered. What, that's it? That's all we've got to go on? Hera, can you give us an in-depth scan of each affected area? Negative. Unable to establish communication with cube satellites. Wait, we lost the cube sats? How the hell did we... Uh, forget it. Let's just have a look for ourselves. Where are you, you little bugger? Ah, here we are. Jack, could you do us a favor and scan this cube sat? I'll need to calibrate my scanner first. Stand by. It'll only be a moment. Please initiate manual input on your ARM computer. Module A-131, Data Scanner. Your scanning tool allows you to collect data on anything in the environment. Please exit the pod to begin calibrating it. Please follow me to the disk spawner at the back of the room. Now activate your scanner by pressing the button on top of your hand. Both of your hands have this functionality. Good. Now aim the scanner at the I.O. port on the disk spawner and hold the trigger to initiate a scan. Please scan the I.O. port to continue. All right. After scanning something, its name will appear next to your hand on the scanner's data tab. To see the results of your scan, grasp the tab and pull it away from your hand. Pull the data tab now. Excellent. Use the button on top of your hand to deactivate the scanner now. Good. To complete this module, 
Gather scan data on five other materials or objects. Initiating human sarcasm. I thought we were friends, Echo One. Four scan- Three scans remaining. Two scans remaining. One scan remaining. Calibration module complete. Please stand by. All set? Yep. Scanner fully calibrated. Heads up. Give that CubeSat a scan. See if you can work out what's wrong with it. Scan complete. Right. Well, what's the story? According to these readings, something was disrupting the CubeSat's ability to communicate with the rest of the sensor network. Was? My scanner appears to have reset the CubeSat's transmitters and restored the connection. Oh, well, problem solved. All you have to do is find and scan every last CubeSat we have scattered across the entire facility. <laughs> Sounds like fun. Oh, of course, it would to you. I'll send an objective to your ARM computer, but consider it low priority for now. Objective received. Right then, on to the real problems. What do you think? What's next? A scan of the anomaly will likely take some time. Perhaps we should get started on repairing those malfunctions. Good idea. That anomaly's certainly given us plenty to do. I count three tier one malfunctions that need our attention. Okay. I'll need a few minutes to pull today's command codes off my console. You can just keep yourself occupied till then, I'm sure. Of course. Start exploring a bit now. Do you think you'll visit Earth now that you've been transferred to the inner planets? I've thought about it. Be nice to finally see London. Hmm, where your parents are from. Right. My father never could stop singing its praises. He never called it by name, though. It was just the city. As though it were the only one that had ever existed. Stop. Play. Stop. <laughs> Definitely stop. These are all items I have given to live. She appears to have kept them in excellent condition. Another one of Liv's hobbies. I suppose its care will fall to me once she departs. I'm still not certain how these are used. Free seashells. Like in Demolition Man. If you've seen that film, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. Ready when you are. Come on, then. Let's go sort out those malfunctions. That's not the best way to start our last week. Don't believe we've ever seen this many malfunctions all at the same time. Of course, we've never had an unidentified spatial anomaly just magically appear right off our port bow either. So it's kind of a dead first, really. Let's go look back and look at those plants. Oh, maybe not. Ah, what the? Warning, unsecured cargo in the hold. Yeah, that much I worked out. Can you tell me why we have unsecured cargo in the hold? Negative. Okay, well, we might want to look into that. All right, Jack. Looks like there's a lot to do this morning. Any priority alerts? Well, it will be your station soon. What problem do you want to tackle first? Send the data to my ARM computer. I'll have a look. Mm. 
Let's fix the power failure in the oxygen garden. Okay, follow me. Oof. Looks like the power failure knocked out the door to the oxygen garden. I'll pull the manual release. And of course, the access panel is stuck. Jack, I think you're going to have to cut through. I'll need to calibrate my reactive cutter first. Right. Considering the power outage, let's also calibrate your entry light. Calibration ready. Module A, 901. Reactive cutter. Please exit the activation pod and proceed to the door program. ahead. Activate your reactive cutter by pressing the glowing touch point on the underside of your wrist. Highlighting cuttable surface. Use the reactive cutter to cut through the highlighted brackets. Please cut through the highlighted brackets to proceed. Cutter functionality test complete. Lift open the door to proceed. Highlighting cuttable surface. Use your reactive cutter to cut out a portion of the highlighted panel. Once you have cut away enough of the panel, press the hollow button to complete this calibration module. Calibration module complete. Please stand by. Module H-144. Helmet visor. You can open and close your helmet visor by pressing the button on the left side of your helmet with your index finger. Please open your helmet visor now. Now please exit the activation pod and proceed to the room ahead. You can activate your headlamp by pressing a button on the right side of your helmet. Once your headlamp is on, shine it on my location. Well done. I am moving to new coordinates in the next room. Find me and shine your headlamp on my location. Where is she? Where is she? There she is. Excellent. Please press the button on the right side of your helmet to turn off the headlamp and complete the module. Calibration <laughs> module complete. Reactive cutter and headlamp calibrated successfully. Copy that. Cut through the access panel so we can pull the door release handle. Excellent, follow me. Let's get started. If you're not afraid of the dark, can you use your headlamp to help me find the electrical grid maintenance panel? Affirmative. Oh, hang on. Just need to, while we're here, fix this cube set.
an encrypted audio file. Curious. When the anomaly scrambled the CubeSat, it inadvertently connected them to a secure Atlas Corporation network. If I scan more of them, I may be able to crack the encryption. Okay. Better get on with the task at hand. Olivia, I've located the maintenance panel. Perfect. Keep your light on it for a moment while I remove the cover. Okay. Heads up, Jack. Coming through. It looks like we've got some fused wiring. Status report? The short caused a full system crash. We'll need to reset each of the environmental controls. Can you find the emergency junction while I sort out this mess? Okay. I'll cut this for my okay. Hmm, maybe not. Okay. I've reached the junction cover. Did you bring a spanner? Just cut through the bolts. We can deal with the cleanup after we figure out what's wrong with the station. Affirmative. Going hot. Electronic interface. I'll need to use my scanner to link up with the I.O. port. Emergency power online. The backup conduit only has enough juice to diagnose one system at a time. Go ahead and get started when you're ready. mixture is off. I'll need to adjust the levels of atmospheric exchange. Careful with that, Jack. One of us still has to breathe the air here for the next few days. <laughs> The oxygen mixture is balanced. I should set the junction to power a new system. So now I'm going to go to that one. The alert must have shut down water flow to the hydroponic systems. It's designed to seal the main reservoir in case of a breach. We need to pop the front of the full pressure. Oh, too much. Okay. Water flow restored. Irrigation system within operating parameters. Down. Let's tackle the last system. Let's. The transformer can't form a complete circuit. We probably need to realign the coils. Run a scan to confirm. The coils have been damaged. Hmm, shit. Unlock them so we can get a closer look. I can't move the coils with the locking mechanism engaged.
Parts of the coils are damaged. If I can form one complete row, I should be able to restore power flow. I can't move the coils with the locking mechanism engaged. Oh. Conversion coils unlocked. As long as we can still form one complete row, we should be able to get the transformer back online. Okay. Whoa. Hmm. <laughs> Don't want to float away from it at the minute. So, are we saying that if I say put that in? Ah, gotcha. Stabilized. Conversion process successful. Definitely Current strong. More repairing. Nice job. Once I finish replacing these wires, we should be able to get the lights on. Hera, verify all oxygen garden subsystems. Subsystems within normal parameters. Right. I'm about done here. Do you see the access panel near me? Do you require assistance? With this? No, this shouldn't be a problem. In training, we had to do this in vacuum conditions. I'll take a few tier one malfunctions any day. How are you feeling? Well, this anomaly business is disconcerting. I always feel better when I'm working. Thanks for checking in, though. I appreciate it. What should I be doing right now? We're about wrapped up here. We just need to throw the breaker to get the power back on. I've completed the repairs here. I should check on Liv. I've completed the repairs here. I should check on Liv. I've completed the repairs here. I should check on Liv. Where's the breaker then? Ah, okay. That's cool. Ah, damn it. <laughs> I see the access panel. Good. You'll need to wait and throw the main breaker on my mark. Got it? Acknowledged. I will await your command before throwing the breaker. Removing utility cover. Please stand by. I've got to pump the primer handle before you throw the breaker. Let me know when you're ready and I'll count us down. On your command. Acknowledged. Throw the switch in three, two, one. I'm clear. Oxygen garden operational. Environmental control systems restored. That's one more system we don't have to worry about. Hopefully it stays that way. Don't jinx it, Jack. There's no wood to knock on around here. Well, there's still the ground fault in the cargo bay and the temperature spiking core containment. What's next on the agenda? Let's investigate the temperature spike in core containment. Okay.